Hello, my name is Michael Riley. Um, I'm here to uh, kind of straighten up a real mess uh, out here about a Whirlpool um, refrigerator uh, ice maker um, that is uh, brand new and it's got the five pin uh, and that's all I have to say really is five pin connector in the freezer. And uh, everybody that has it knows what I'm talking about right off the bat. It's four wires, um, but it's a five pin connector. It's a brand new connector that pretty much nobody's seen. And uh, it's in the brand new refrigerators, freezers. Um, and um, it's not a certain model. So I, I put out a video to start with that it was a model revision 02 um, on certain models, but it's that's not... Um, it, is uh, showing to be um, in other models, uh, which is not surprising uh, for Whirlpool. Um, it's not just a 02 ver revision. That's the last two numbers on the model number, 02. Uh, it's the engineering revision number. Um, let, me, let me back up uh, and qualify myself just a little bit. Um, about 40 years ago, I worked at Whirlpool Corporation. Um, I was a service tech uh, in uh, um, Chicago, um, Detroit um, and was promoted into management in uh, Benton Harbor and uh, I started out on a um, customer service line uh, uh, it was a technical line um, and most of the people on that line were uh, people that knew nothing about service which was just amazing to me um, and it kind of kind of correlates with what's going on here right now People are out there trying to find out information about this ice maker and, you know, what, what harness uh, they need to get because uh, Whirlpool um, apparently forgot or for whatever reason, there's no harness with the five pin connector in the ice maker when you buy the ice maker. The ice maker being the uh, notorious uh, W11715113 ice maker part number. W11715113. Um, that ice maker is not coming with, uh, or hasn't been coming with the uh, harness. There's supposed to be two harnesses in it. They're called jumper harnesses. Um, the reason they're called jumper harnesses is because they um, are, they're an extension, like an extension cord. Um, the ice maker has, uh, apparently, it looks like, um, from what I've seen of it, um, They've gone back to the old style ice maker with the brass or with the um, motor inside. And, um, and I, don't, I don't understand why they've done this. Um, I, there's not enough information out there right now. It's so new. Uh, the modular ice baker has been in, in, around for uh, with the modular head um, to replace. And, and it got rid of the old style with the, the um, motor in it and uh, all the wiring inside. And, and then they went with the the uh, copper tracing and the in the modular head anyways it's it's getting kind of deep but the point is is that um it appears that they've gone back to the old style ice maker i don't know if they lost a patent or i don't know what the deal is but that ice maker the modular ice maker has been around for quite a few years now and every almost every brand in the market is is using it um i mean even even sub zero has been using uh, a version you know version of it and uh, I mean, every other brand, you'll see that Whirlpool modular. But now, they've gone back to the old style. And it just doesn't make sense. You don't go backwards. Well, maybe maybe Whirlpool does. Um, I know that uh, when I was there, like I said, that we, we, we had technical, assist, technical people that had no idea they'd never been serviced before. There was in the technical department, there was like three people. Myself... And uh, an old guy, Augie, uh, and, and Carl, and there was a few of us, just very few. And it was, a, you know, there probably was 50 people, but they all were working out of books. So when you call up, understand one thing, when you call up, even a parts like Best Buy or whatever, they don't really, all they have is a book to look at, okay? It's kind of like going to the auto parts store. The auto parts car, that guy's not a service technician. Probably never has been. There's very few that are in there working or they'd be making more money doing service. 
Okay? You got to think about it. You know, be, be, be reasonable about it. They're working out of books. You see them on the computer looking up the parts. They have no clue when you ask them questions. They have no clue what you're talking about when you're putting it together or anything else. So it's the same thing in the appliance world or any, any, any service industry. Um, the parts guy, quote parts guy, normally is not a service guy. Um, some are, like myself. Um, and I'm, I'm into parts as well. I manufacture parts as well. Um, refrigeration parts are manufactured. And now I'm starting to manufacture these parts that Whirlpool forgot to put in the, in the ice makers or inadvertently didn't put them in or, or the parts are back ordered or whatever the deal is. Um, they have done a great disservice to millions of people. People are out here with a refrigerator and a freezer wanting to return the refrigerator, um, trying to make things work, scrambling everywhere, calling everybody, calling Whirlpool. And Whirlpool doesn't even have the right answers. I just got an email uh, a couple minutes ago where the guy's like, uh, yeah, customer service doesn't even work. No, what's going on? I know it. I know they don't because they're, they're people that are looking in books. Okay, they're not technicians. So when I saw this issue, I was like, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised at all. Um, it, let me just, I don't want to make this long because I want to get to the subject of the matter. And that is, but I wanted to qualify myself. When I first started at Whirlpool, when I went into management, my first day in management with a shirt and tie and, and, and suit, I said to a guy, you know, God, we need to make, we, we make these things better, you know, we make, make things work better. And he said, he said, hold on a second. He said, let me tell you something. He said, you're, you're, you're naive. You're really naive. You're never going to change anything with Whirlpool. Never. It's all about politics. And he said, you just, you just got to go with the flow. They're a mess. That was his opinion. It is also my opinion today and has been for many years. Now, I refer Whirlpool people to buy Whirlpool products because they own almost all of them now. They bought Maytag in 2006 and all of Maytag's brands, um, Gen Air and, you know, the list goes on and on. But um, they are a better product than, than others. Samsung, LG, they were stereo systems. They, they have so many lawsuits and everything else. They, they have, in my opinion, they have no idea what they're doing. And people find that out after they buy a Samsung or, or a, a um, 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 I just said it. Anyways, um, they, they don't, LG is what I, Samsung and LG, they, they were stereo systems. And for the younger crowd, they never made appliances. So they thought they, they see they can make a bunch of money, but in my opinion, they have no idea what they're doing. Freezing up refrigerators, ice makers that are frozen up. I mean, it's just, you know, a battery for cell phones to Samsung that you can't even take on a plane. First time ever in the history of, of any appliance. You can't take a battery on a plane because it, it, they're burning up. I mean, they just don't know what they seem to know what they're doing. And that's my opinion. Anyway, so brands to stay away from, in my opinion. So this, this Whirlpool ice maker, it's, um, you know, there's a five pin connector in the freezer. Um, and, um, I had to manufacture it right away because um, this is just ridiculous. What what everybody is so confused, and I don't have to tell you because you're probably one of those. Um, but the reason that they can't be they can't find it um, when they look it up and everything is a couple reasons. One is that on brand new models, um, you, you have to understand people um, and techs also. Some techs don't know this that when they come out with a model, they don't have the parts look up immediately um, and I don't know why they don't and I, I you know you you can ask them that they're not going to have an answer um, but one of the reasons I believe and always did was that we don't see a we don't see incidents of repair in other words it doesn't break for you know a few years so they're not in a rush to get that parts manual and, and look up out um, because uh, they're not going to really need it because you know it it's brand new parts aren't going to be replaced um, so they don't make them, so the lookup gets distributed to all the parts houses that sell parts, you know, and all the online places get, get the lookups, um, you know, uh, repair clinic, da, 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 click, click, whatever. 
um, Best Buy, all, all the parts departments get the, the lookup, the parts lookup and diagrams. But it usually is months, and I'm talking months, maybe a year or, or so before they get it. So when you have a mo brand new model and you try to look up, even as service technicians, we have problems looking up parts if it's brand new. We have to go back to the factory because the factory, the, the parts hookup's not out there yet, okay? So that's one of the biggest issues why there's so much confusion um, with looking up the parts. They're looking up the part and the ice maker is the old ice maker. So they'll look up like uh, if it's a zero two at the end and that's what Whirlpool does is they use a zero two, zero one, um, some indicator in there, it's an engineering number. So when they do the next model, they go up one, okay? So if it's a zero two this year, and the parts lookups not there, they they go back to the zero one, the people that look up the parts. Well, you can't do that in this case. This case, that's a different ice maker, because as I said, the ice maker has been changed. It's the old style ice maker. It's not it's not the modular anymore. And there's a pigtail that comes out of the head of the ice maker and plugs in. It's got a five pin connector on it that plugs into a five pin female. And that's the extension cord. That's the jumper. And it goes over and then it's got another five pin that goes into the freezer wall. So it's like an extension cord because it's not long ago. It's just a short pigtail, about three inches coming out of the head. And it has to be 11 inches. So there's an eight inch extension cord, basically. It's called a jumper harness. It's got a connector on both ends. And they're five pin, female to male. And male goes into the freezer, female connector. Okay, and it's five pin, it's four wires. Okay, white, green, brown, and black. And there's one opening that's empty. One socket on the five, and then that's open. It's white, green, brown, empty, and black. There's an empty one in here, that's only four. So there's a fifth one, and that one's empty, okay? So there's a five pin, I can't show because I don't have five fingers, I have a thumb. So just put another one in there, and that one's empty, okay? The point is, is that there's five pins, and it goes into the five pin female connector. Um, and, it's called a jumper harness. There's two jumper harnesses that are supposed to be in that kit, um, that ice maker kit when you buy it. One's the five pin and then there's another one and you don't need that one. They always do this, they make it for multiple models, but they actually didn't put the right connect harness in or who knows what happened, but people are not getting the harness. Harness is not available. Now it is. I'm making it. Okay. And it wasn't easy to find the, um, the, the connectors and stuff for this. It's almost, uh, they're, they're just, because of distribution issues, there's no parts uh, available in the world. Um, and I was able to locate, and that's why it's going gonna, it's gonna to go from in stock, out of stock, in stock, out of stock, if people have already bought one on eBay, um, I have ads on eBay um, listings for it. Um, but it, it's going in and out because I'm running out of parts and having to get more, and it's really, really difficult. But I'm, but I'm going forward and able to manufacture these. Now, one thing about this is when you order it, please be patient. I get, I, I had one, one girl that was just like, I can't live without ice, and she was just all over me, and putting a bad review on eBay um, about me shipping it three days late. I am manufacturing these as I'm getting the orders because there's so many orders. There's millions of these refrigerators. So please be patient, people. This isn't something that I have in stock. As you know, nobody's got it in stock in the world. I'm the only one making it right now that's actually making it available. I'm sure they're working on making them, but 
the timeline for a major corporation like Whirlpool and getting something like this out is it's not a priority to them. Um, it just isn't. It's it's an inconvenience. But to you, like this girl screaming about not having an ice maker and then putting a bad review because I was three days late because I'm trying to manufacture and I have all this written in the description of the ad about please be patient. I'm manufacturing this as quick as I can, but some people you just, you know, they got to have it right now. And if you don't react, then they're going to get mad. And unfortunately, I already shipped that because I'm going to be honest with you. If you act like that about this product and you could, I'm going to refund your money and you're not going to get one because I'm just not going to deal with that kind of an attitude when I am working as hard as I can to get these out. They're nowhere else in the world. And then if I might be three days late getting it shipped out to you, are you kidding? Okay, please, I don't need that. And, and nobody needs that. Um, let's just, just make this work and, and be appreciative of what I've, the efforts that I've given um, in tracking down these parts, which was not easy to do, um, and putting this together. My background is electrical engineering, so um, I've always done service because I didn't want to work in an office. Um, in the engineering field. I wanted to do service. Um, so I am a service tech through and through. And this is not hard for me to, to manufacture. Um, it was getting all the specs of it, but understanding what the problem was. And that was, why is there no harness available? And that's what I tried to explain up front. So it kind of clears it up for everybody. Why there's such a mess? Um, the parts lookups aren't there. And um, they apparently somebody messed up and didn't get the harnesses communication. Who knows? I mean, they, they have no clue when you call Whirlpool. So there's no reason to try to figure that out, but they don't, there's just so much confusion all the way up to Whirlpool. So that's why when you call, just don't, don't expect to get an answer. Your answer's right here. I have actually been working with Whirlpool for, I don't work with, I don't work with, I don't work for them or with them anymore, but I'm trying to clean up their mess um, because it's just ridiculous. So um, the, uh, now there's three different avenues that I've gone here because um, if you did buy the W117, um, one five one one three ice maker whirlpool ice maker um then it's going to have that uh that harness and you're going to need the jumper okay you're not going to need the other harness i have on you're going to need the jumper that was supposed to be put in the kit okay so um i'm going to show you this uh th this gets kind of messy when you do this kind of stuff but um, I'm going to show you this. Uh, here's the um, that's the that's the ice maker whirlpool. You can see the the plug there. You see it? It's coming out of the head of the ice maker with the the line, the red line, and it's got that five pin male connector on it. Okay. It's not long enough to go to the back wall. You can see that. So that's where the jumper harness comes in and it plugs into that male connector and then it plugs into the back wall. Okay, it's that simple. They left that out. They left that jumper out. So the, um, you can't, you know, there's, and, and that five pin connector is not something that we've ever seen before. So there's no harness out there with a five pin connector on it. There is now that I'm manufacturing them. Okay. So they're not stocked. They're not in stock. They're, they're, as I'm getting orders, I'm making them. Please understand that. So people are start, start to be more patient. Um, I've got written in the ads uh, that, that it's, uh, you know, the five day delay and, and I'm, I'm not always keeping up with that because there's so many orders. Okay, that's just the jumper harness. 
It's not the ice maker, it's just the jumper harness because you already bought the Whirlpool ice maker. Okay, so um, the second way you can get this is you're, you already have an ice maker and you've got a new five pin connector in the freezer. You didn't buy the Whirlpool ice maker. You're using your old one from the old refrigerator. You can do that if it's a nice, if it's a Whirlpool modular ice maker. Okay. So if it has the, if it has the plug um, in the head of the ice maker. Now let me show you this. I, I, I hate doing this because it's just not so clear. But if it has that plug, the plugs into the, that's a modular ice maker that has that plug in the front, in the head. That flat plug, okay? If it plugs in there like that, and you've got the five pin connector, then you need this harness. Remember the other one had five pins on both ends. That's the jumper. This one is you're using an existing modular ice maker that you already had, or you are buying a modular ice maker. That's my third option is I'm selling the ice maker modular kit with the harness so that you can also get an ice maker not the whirlpool one but one to work for your refrigerator with the new harness so this is a second option that you already have an ice maker or you bought one that's a whirlpool like this and it has this plug-in that flat plug-in okay and then it plugs into and i implore everybody to read these these warnings on here and all this description. I put it on here for a reason to make sure you get the right harness and you have the right thing. Okay. The five pin to the ice maker plug for a modular ice maker harness. Okay. So go there, read, read the ad and you'll, you it's self-explanatory. Read all the pictures. I've written a lot of things on all the pictures and down in the description of the ad. Be sure of what you have before you order it, please, because I'm not in the mood of returning stuff because people didn't read. I'm too busy trying to manufacture these, get these things out because there's millions of people out here that, that need their ice maker fixed because Whirlpool failed somehow. I'm not going to get into that because I don't need their legal team contacting me. Um, when I left Whirlpool, I was done with them. Um, and that was like 38 years ago. Anyway, so um, that's the second option. First option is a jumper harness. You bought a Whirlpool W11715113 ice maker. And there's no harness in the kit. And you don't, you need the harness, the jumper harness, to plug it in from the new style Whirlpool ice maker into the five pin connector in the freezer. Second way is that you're using your existing one or you're getting another one, Whirlpool Modular Ice Maker, not the Whirlpool, the brand new Whirlpool one, because that won't work with, with this second harness. Second harness is for the old modular style. Remember I said they've changed the ice maker and now there's the plug coming out, that little pigtail coming out on the Whirlpool one. So. You don't have the Whirlpool ice maker. You have your old one that was in the other refrigerator or you bought another modular, like I just showed you the pictures and it's on this ad. Then you need this new harness that goes from the plug-in for the modular to the five pin, okay? Third way is that you can get an ice maker operational in your refrigerator, freezer, is I've got a kit that I've put together with a modular ice maker and the harness, the five pin harness. So you can take this, it's plug and play, just plug the, the harness in, hang it on the wall and, and leave the wire arm down and it's turned on. <coughs> Provided you have um, all the hookup, uh, that's um, the water valve and everything else is installed in the refrigerator. Now, if it isn't, contact me and I'm thinking about putting up another kit that includes the water valve, the tubing and everything, the wiring harness, it includes everything. If it's not installed 
and um, uh, ready, ice maker ready um, is what they call it, um, to put an ice maker in. Because if there's the harness and everything's not there, you need the whole kit. That's the water valve, inlet valve, the, the tubing that goes up the back wall, the wiring harness, you need everything, okay? But generally speaking, these are already plumbed and, and um, most of them, uh, they're ice maker ready, which means the valve and everything is in there. It's just, you need the ice maker and the harness um, to plug into the freezer, okay? So the third one um, with the ice maker kit, it's the ice maker kit and the harness. Um, I'll show it to you, I hate doing this, like I said. But that's the, um, this is the new one, the, the third option I have. You did not buy a Whirlpool ice maker, and this is going to be the ice maker and the harness to plug into the ice maker and plug into the back wall, as you can see there. It's got the right connectors on it to plug into the back wall and, um, and be able to... Uh, and be able to um, have ice again, okay? Okay, so look, same thing, look at the pictures, make sure you're getting the right thing, um, that you have the right five pin connector in the back of the freezer wall in your, in your refrigerator or freezer. Um, that's important. That's what this whole issue is about, is they connect, they change that connector inside the freezer um, to a five pin, straight five pin connector. It's not a double eight pin. It's not two rows. It's, it's one row of five pins. And one of those pins is empty. So there's only four wires to connect, okay? Plug to plug. Okay, so um, that's the third kit um, option that I have. And like I said, if you need the, um, the whole setup uh, with the valve and everything, contact me. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Um, please ask me questions that are not, that, I have to be honest with you, I'm so busy that I, I and, and I'll apologize ahead of time. I'm gonna get agitated and, and you're probably gonna get a smart aleck response um, about looking at the pictures and reading the ad, why did you contact me before doing that? Because I just don't have time to keep saying what's, what I took so much time to put into the ad. Because I have to get these manufactured. So I have to stop every time I have to. And it's, I don't have a team of people doing this. I'm doing this on my own. Okay? So I don't have a bunch of laborers making these. Maybe I didn't mention that earlier and they don't understand why it's taken so long. This is a process, and I, I'm not at that point. This is the beginning. This is the very beginning. Yes, I'll, I'll probably get some people, and I have to. But right now, I'm doing this myself. So um, it takes time. I got to solder these wires on. I got, there's a lot I have to do. Crimp on connectors, and it's, it's, just, it's a big process, okay? It's not a big deal, and it's not difficult for somebody that, with my experience, but it takes time to do it, okay? So, um, read the pictures. I wrote writing to be very detailed about what you need and, and what the pictures of the connectors and all that. So, it's all there on the ads. So, please, please go through those pictures and um, in the description down, down the page, scroll down and read the whole description, okay? So, um, it's unfortunate that... Um, People are out here having to deal with this. Um, it doesn't surprise me with Whirlpool. Um, it really doesn't. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're kind of numbskulls. Uh, um, their first comment to me when I started management, you know, you're naive, uh, nothing's ever going to change. Um, you know, they don't care about making things right. The, another thing that they always used to say was service is a thorn in the side to Whirlpool. They hated service. They actually hated, just hated service because it cost them money. It was burdensome. Um, they had a whole, a whole service department. They had to deal with things like this, um, where it's, for me, it's common sense, but because of the kind of people 
I believe they hire that are not qualified, like I was telling you. All the technical people, almost all of them, were people reading out of a book. Um, when I was in service, before I got promoted to management, we had a service manager that was uh, an MBA. And her and I clashed big time because I, she had never done service. And it wouldn't matter whether it was a she or a he. If you haven't done service, how do you lead somebody? How do you lead technicians? But all Whirlpool was worried about was the bottom line, dollars. So they wanted a, a business person, somebody that had never done service, doing being a service manager. Makes zero sense whatsoever. And her and I used to clash all the time because she tried to tell me I was wrong about a service a, a repair. And I said, you've never done this before. What, how, you know, yeah, we, we didn't get along. Cheryl was her name. If she happens to see this video, hi, Cheryl. Um, her and I didn't get along at all. Um, and she wouldn't back off. That was the problem. Most people that step into a position that, and this is the attitude about a lot of people at Whirlpool that I met, um, in my opinion. Um, they acted like they knew it all. Um, and that's where you don't get any answers on the customer end because nobody's willing to say, you know what, let's figure out the problem and tell me what your problem is. And, and I, I admit, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get to a resolution. That's what I've done here with this harness. It's just common sense. You know, I've never seen this five pin connector before. And it was really difficult to find um, because the configurations and everything else, even the, the um, prongs themselves are D-shaped or square-shaped and they're mixed up different configurations. I had to find the right connectors and it was not easy, but I, but I did it and it, it's working. Um, a lot of over a hundred people, that's how new this is, over 100 people already have working ice makers, okay? And I'm working as fast as I can to get hundreds more going. People are being patient, most people are. It's just one or two um, that I've had a difficult time. Frick, Miss Frick, F-R-I-C-K is uh, the one that really, really got just belligerent and put a bad review on. Uh, and I actually had to go to the hospital. I'm not gonna go into that, but um, and so that's why I was late. But anyways, um, the product's out here. It's, um, it's available. Um, it's going to go unavailable and available back and forth when I run out of parts. I've got parts on order, but some of these parts, the distribution, as everybody knows, even the grocery store shelves are empty in a lot of cases. Distribution is taking... We're talking months. So I got parts on order. Like right now, I've got parts that I need right this second. They're supposed to be here this week and I'm not sure they're gonna show up one time. I may have to put the unavailable again uh, on these harnesses until I get these, these connectors. Um, I'm running out of stuff, um, but I have everything on order as well. So be patient. This is the whole scenario about um, the harness. I wanted people to understand what the whole issue is. It's, uh, it's um, in my opinion, lack of uh, proper um, leadership and proper um, uh, management um, at, at Whirlpool in the refrigeration department, ice makers. Um, they were that way 40 years ago when I worked with them. They were not organized. So I don't see how it would be any different now. They're never going to change. They, they, they are who they are. And they're so large now that there's just too many people involved. So um, that's why you can't get answers. If you need answers, send me an, uh, an email. Um, um, or you can email me uh, um, from my website, the uh, refrigerator part replacements, plural, S on the end, refrigerator part replacements.com is my website, okay? And my contact information's on there. Now, I sell a bunch of Sub-Zero parts. 
Um, and that's what that refer that website's for. But my contact information is on there. I manufacture refrigeration evaporators and, and different parts for Sub Zero as well. Um, I got away from just the Whirlpool. So um, that's what that website is all about. Um, but it still has my contact information on it. Um, I'm going to be coming up a web with a website for this for this uh, product. Um, So, um, thank you um, for the interest. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm very patient with people that are reasonable. Um, I have no patience for, for people that are impatient. I just don't. Because there's no, there's no reason. It, it, you, you don't have ice. Are you kidding? Go to the store and get some ice. And I understand people that like an ice maker working. But if you're going to jump on me about not having ice, when I'm working as fast as I can, you're not getting my product. I'll just be honest with you right up front. You're not entitled to have this harness. So if you start on me, I'm just going to ban you from being able to purchase the product. I don't want to do that. I sat here for two hours with one guy, with sending him pictures back and forth, messaging, getting him so that he could get the, make sure it was the right harness. And that's how patient I am. Because he was reasonable, he was nice, he was appreciative. I'm not gonna deal with the other, the negative. I just won't, do, I don't have time for it, okay? But I, I will make time for people that are reasonable and want help. I'll answer all your questions, I'll take, I've spent two hours, over two hours with him. And I've done that more than once with people. And they're appreciative. Um, and that's all I want. Um, I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to do a service for people, help them out here, and just, just be decent, okay? It's not hard to do that. So, um, this is, video is too long. Um, it always is, because I go on and on. But I like to let you know about myself as well as so my qualifications. So that's, that's why I know about the product. That's why I know the ice maker so well. When I first, my first day um, in my cubicle, when I was in management, I actually put up a ice maker display on a on a, a, um, a plywood form and hung some ice makers on them and put and made them electrical, plugged them in. So I had two ice makers on there that were functional because ice makers have always been difficult, even for technicians, to understand how they operate. <laughs> even techs, and believe me, there there's a lot of techs that don't know how they how they work. Um, technicians, so. Um, but everybody, all, all these management people will come over, technical people will come over to my cubicle and, and ask me questions about this. And I was in my 20s. Um, and they would, just, you know, I'd plug it in. I'd say, okay, this, and tell them, show them how it works. And, and they loved it because it was, um, it made it real in front of their face instead of in the book because that's all they knew. They'd never worked on one. Um, some of them never probably seen one. Um, you know, these were young girls and young guys that they've never done service before um, in this management position because they got a degree, you know. I'm not about degrees, okay? I have electrical engineering, but I, I'm not about degrees. I, I, I like the I like the applicable for myself, applicable knowledge. Um, that's why I never took did anything with my degree. Anyway, so we're all different. So that's why I'm able to bring this product to you because I went into the service industry. So um, enjoy your ice if you've already gotten this um, and I appreciate you uh, being patient for those that have been. Uh, and it's been most of you. Um, and it's been a pleasure to put this together and, um, and know that it's changing people's lives and correcting I feel like a real wrong by Whirlpool to, to, to do this to people. I mean, they're out there selling ice makers with no proper parts in them. Are you kidding? I just, it boggles my mind, but I'm not going to go on to Whirlpool because I don't need their legal team addressing me because I, I prefer not to take down any lawyers. Uh, um, when they attack me, <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, I, I eat them for lunch.
because I um, I'm just being genuine here and honest um, and trying to provide a product they screwed up on. So um, take care. If you have any comments, uh, please feel free to comment um, on the eBay ads or com contact me on eBay um, or like I said on my I'm not going to say my email address out loud. Just go to my website, refrigeratorpartreplacements.com, and my contact information is on there, okay, um, my email. So take care, and I'm glad I could help everyone, all right? Enjoy your ice. Thanks. Bye-bye.